So when you want to clean up your chicken coop, you just get that accumulated chicken poo that builds up. And a couple ways. One is you can clean it on a daily basis and you can just take up the individual chicken poo and get it out of the coop. And that is, works really good. Another way though that is pretty effective is the deep litter method. And that's where you put in about four inches of these pine shavings. So this is only about maybe two inches. But when you have four inches in, you have some chicken poo build up, but then you every day come and just move it around, which exposes it to oxygen. And as you move it around and expose it to oxygen, it's going to get rid of a smell. And after you move it around like that, then you add another small layer of the wood shavings on top. And then, just like once a year, you can scoop it all out and really clean it well. When you do the deep litter method and you move the, move the material around, before you add the um, small layer of the um, wood shavings, you can put in the Demetrius earth, which is used to kill the parasites, but also it dries out any of the chicken poo in there, it dries it out, helps get rid of the smell. So you add that dust in there, make sure you wear a mask when you do it. You can also use lime, and then lime you don't have to use a mask. But you get the powder in there, you move it around, and then you add your layer of new wood shavings, and then you stir that a little bit, and then you should be good to go. And then again, the next day you can just do the steering. But after, in this case, it's been about six months, but you can go as much as a year if you use the deep litter, which is about four to six inches. But at two inches, we have to do it more often. You can just scoop out all this material, end up with a nice clean wood. And then from there, you can add in the, um, the earth or the lime that will get rid of the parasites and get it all dried out. And then you can add fresh shavings. So we're just gonna scoop this all out and we're gonna add it to our compost pile. And this will be true of the run too. You wanna just get all the accumulated poo out of there. But it comes out pretty quick. Um, some people have it set up where their coops are bigger and they just have like a, a panel that folds down and then they use a shovel and they bring it right into a wheelbarrow. But this coop's kind of small. This is actually designed for our, our younger chickens. So we're just going to get that, move it out, throw it away or put it in the compost and then do some more. So we got the top area all cleaned up and this is a somewhat modular system so I'm going to lift this out so I can clean the run. Get in here, we're gonna clean all this out and then we'll put in some fresh material. It's pretty good, but the straws are like little tubes and they can end up housing mites. So just the best thing for your chickens will be the wood shavings. So once you have all that out of there, you can add some water to it and then you can stir it and over a couple weeks you can end up with some good compost. You have to just stir it 
every now and then and it'll help break down all those all the poo along with the wood fibers and then I'm going to keep a top on it because the flies like to get in there don't want to get any any of the fly larvae or maggots just want to get it all moist so this is all pretty wet getting it all stirred around and then just come out once a week and steer it just keep it covered and it'll get warm and it'll just start to as you mix it with oxygen and moisture it'll start to decompose and it ends up being really good for your plants really good fertilizer you can have it covered up I have a couple of very confused young chickens they're wondering where their coop is and we're just cleaning it right now but it's a must throw them off quite a bit because that's their home we got a recycling bin on its side got a rake door open and we can get a lot of it out that way pretty fast mainly just trying to get rid of all the hay that is actually not the best because it can house those mites okay we got the hay out of there for the most part got it nice and clean we're going to add the diatomaceous earth just a little bit to the bottom you want to make sure you wear respirator you don't want your chickens to be in there for about 20 minutes to let everything settle and then we're going to put some wood shavings on top so we have some mallard creek comfort blend shavings these are really good made in the usa I like that and we're going to Put a thin layer here on the bottom and then we'll do the coop next you can have just soil you can have just soil also exposed but most chickens like and they run a little bit of the shaving we're going to put their coop hen house back into the coop into the run so it's kind of modular just pick it up as a hinged ramp in the position and we'll just drop it in. We have to kind of move the ramp by hand. There we go. Okay, now it should come down. There we go. Okay, got it. Alright, we're gonna lift up the door. Man, they had that open and closing when they were little girls, but now we just keep it open. And now we'll feed in some of that. Before we put in the wood shavings, we're going to put in the diatomaceous earth, food grade. I'm just going to sprinkle it in. If you don't want to breathe that in, make sure your chickens are out away from the box for about 20 minutes to let everything settle. Could be bad for their breathing also. Okay, we'll put in the wood shavings. Wood shavings may vary depending on whether you do the deep the deep litter or just the regular amount. Deep litter you'd want to have about four to six inches the wood shavings. I'm gonna put in a fair amount. Just slide that stuff in. And our chickens really like this stuff. It's really good bedding. You're at about four inches though, you give them plenty of cushion and plenty of warmth. So we just spread that around. And they tend to like to sleep right here, so I'm gonna make that a little thicker. These guys are still um, pretty young, they haven't started laying eggs yet, so they don't use a roost, they just hang out together. But down the road we're gonna have to put a roosting bar in here Maybe make this actually bigger. OK, 
time to add another layer of this stuff, just lightly. Sprinkle it around, all the, all the surface area. You make sure you wear your respirator. And then just move it around with your fingers so that you can get it lower down into the layers. So do the deep litter method. So we're just going to be turning this stuff around Occasionally adding more of the powder here to dry out the chicken poo. Add a little bit more. This whole thing would take you probably half an hour, 45 minutes to get it all cleaned up and then to get the new wood shavings and get the diatomaceous earth put in so easy to do and with the deep litter method you could do it if you needed to once a year but so probably every six months would be good and we're done now been a little bit over half an hour so our girls are back in trying out their new digs and we're going to close it up get it locked up for them we did notice some raccoon prints on the top here, so we know the raccoons are interested. But with all these locks and really good wire and these pavers, I don't think we'll ever have a problem. So it looks like we're all done. We could be, with the deep litter method, maybe done for another six months to a year.